uh, t focusing on the future first. President Trump, you have repeatedly either contradicted or been at odds with some of your government's own top scientists. The week before last, the head of the Centers for Disease Control, Dr. Redfield, said it would be summer before the vaccine would become generally available to the public. You said that he was confused and mistaken. Those were your two words. Yeah. But Dr. Slowey, the head of your Operation Warp Speed, has said exactly the same thing. Are they both wrong? Well, I've spoken to the companies, and we can have it a lot sooner. It's a very political thing, because people like this would rather make it political than save lives. God. It is a very political thing. I've spoken to Pfizer. I've spoken to all of the people that you have to speak to. We have great Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, and others. They can go faster than that by a lot. It's become very political, because the left, or I don't know if so, I call so them left, I don't know what I call So you're suggesting the head of your Operation Warp Speed, Dr. Smiley? I disagree with him. Yeah. No, I disagree with both of them. And he didn't say that. He said it could be there, but it could also be much sooner. I, I had him in my office two he days talked, ago. He talked about the summer, sir, before it's generally available, just because like He Dr. said Redfield. it's a possibility that we'll have the answer before November 1st. It could I'm, also I'm be after that. It's generally available. It, not well, we're going to deliver it right away. We have the military all set up logistically. They're all set up. We it, have our military that delivers soldiers, and they can do 200,000 a day. They're going to be this delivering. This is the to same us. man it's who all told set you up. by Easter this would be gone away. By the warm weather, it'd be gone. Miraculous. It's like a miracle. And by the way, maybe you could inject some bleach in your arm, and that would take care of it. This is the that same man. That was said man. sarcastically, that was, you see, know that. I, that I, was I, said sarcastically. And so here's the deal. This man is talking about a vaccine. Every serious, every serious company is talking about maybe having a vaccine done by the end of the year. But the distribution of that vaccine will not occur until sometime beginning or the middle of next year to get it out, if we get the vaccine. And pray God we will. Thank God we Mr. will. Mr. Vice President, I want to pick up, though, You'll have on the that. I, 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 I want to pick that. up on this question, though. You say the public can trust the scientists, but they can't trust President Trump. In fact, you said that again tonight. Your running mate, Senator Harris, goes further, saying the public health experts, quote, will be muzzled, will be suppressed. Given the fact that polls already show that people are concerned about the vaccine and are reluctant to take it, are you and your running mate, Senator Harris, contributing to that fear? No more than the question you just asked him. You pointed out. He puts pressure and disagrees with his own scientists. But you're saying Everybody you can't, or, or Senator and Harris is saying no, you can't trust the scientists. No, well, no, no, you can't trust the scientists. He didn't, she didn't say that. You can't she, trust She the, said the public health experts, quote, will be muzzled, will yes. be suppressed. Well, that's what he's going to try to do. But there's millions of scientists, there's thousands of scientists out there, like here at this great hospital, that don't work for him. Their job doesn't depend on him. That's not, they're the people, they're, and by I the way. to the scientists that are in charge. By the way. They will have the vaccine very soon. Does, Let him finish. Do you believe for a moment what he's telling you in light of all the lies he's told you about the whole issue relating to COVID. He still hasn't even acknowledged that he knew this was happening, knew how dangerous it was going to be back in February, and he didn't even tell you. He's on record as saying it. He panicked or he just looked at the stock market, one of the two, because guess what? A lot of people died, and a lot more are going to die unless he gets a lot smarter, a lot quicker. So, Mr. Mr. President? Did you use the word smart? Uh, so you said you went to Delaware State, but you forgot the name of your college. You didn't <laughs> go to so. Delaware State. You graduated either the lowest or almost the lowest in your class. Don't ever use the word smart with me. Don't ever use that word. Oh, give me a break. Because you know what? There's nothing smart about you, Joe. 47 years, you've done well, nothing. Let's have this debate. And if we'll you would have had, smart. let me just tell you something, Joe. No, if you would have had the charge of what I was put through. I had to close the greatest economy in the history of our country. And by the way, now it's being built again. You see, and it's we're going to get up to the fast. economy in the next segment, sir. Okay. It's going up fast. Okay. Going I, up when it comes